Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Survive the Shows. Today we are joined by the star of the new great American movie, Abba John Chocolate Christmas. We are here tonight with our guest Jacqueline Hayes, who portrays Kate in the movie. You could may know her from Extinct and many more projects. Welcome Jacqueline and thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you for having me. And let's begin. Can you tell us a little bit about your character and how she fits into the story of a, a Belgian chocolate Christmas? Sure. Um, so Kate, the character that I play, she's, she's uh, like all of us. She has a dream. She wanted her entire life to be a, a culinary genius like her best friend becomes. And uh, instead, she, she decides to become a photographer, a food photographer and it catches up with her. She realizes, you know what? I need to follow this dream. And so she finds herself in Belgium, learning and finishing out the, taking this elaborate class, but she's of course under the fake name of her best friend who couldn't go. And so there's this whole, um, yeah. <laughs> she's gonna get found out plot and, and all that stuff. And then there's a cute guy teaching the class. And, <laughs> all that stuff so um it's a really fun good time of with christmas and dreams coming true and romance and lots of fun fun family great stuff <laughs> great <laughs> and uh, what initially drew, drew you to the role and made you want to be a part of this movie um Well, I think when I read the script, I felt like I could relate to her, someone trying to accomplish her dreams. That was very relatable. Also, I was going to shoot in Belgium. <laughs> so, like, that's a huge perk. Yes. Um, any, anytime you get to travel, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, just being on set is just so great so the opportunity when the opportunity presented itself um and and it was a cute movie i was like yes great and uh, how did you prepare for your character and get into the her mindset for the role so i really i didn't have much time i i only had like a week before we started shooting when I found out that I had the role and, and it was a long, long script and we shot a lot in one day. The whole thing, we only shot in like 13 days. So it was quick and it was fast and it was a lot. So preparing, I mean, I had to, I had to kind of shut out a lot of my friends for a while. I had to just kind of like just buckle down and read, read, read that script over and over and over again until we got there. Um, yeah. And then I think that that's what helps the character settle is, is just reading it again and again and again and again. And eventually as those lines uh, become memorized, the character kind of sticks as well. Yeah. And uh, what was it like working with the rest of the cast? And did you have any particularly memorable moments on set? Sure. Um, well, I mostly worked with Zane. Uh, he's the play is the opposite. Yes. And he was great, wonderful to work with, really nice and accommodating. And um, luckily, we had a, a really great time um, just connecting as people as well, which makes it a lot easier to connect on screen. Um, and I would say probably my favorite part of shooting was when we got to go in Belgium, get a real um, chocolate class, chocolate making class. And, and, and we really are being taught how to make chocolate in this class. So that was really cool. And we got to make our own chocolate and then I got to bring that home and bring it to friends and family. And that was Sounds really great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really great. <laughs> yeah. And uh, can you describe your character's journey throughout the movie and how she transforms over the course of the story? Sure. So she starts out kind of lost in, in what she wants in life. And by the end, I would say she gets really clear. She's like, you know what? I, I know exactly what I want and I'm strong enough and brave enough to choose it. 
and it comes it comes with the help of her friends and of course Zane in the movie um has a huge influence on her and uh <laughs> she she kind of gets it all you know by the end she figures it out and so it, it's a it's a learning journey of of what it is that you want and not being afraid to get it and and I feel like she she goes through that whole arc yeah sounds great yeah and uh, can you tell us about any challenges you faced while filming the movie and how you overcame them sure one of the um biggest challenges I'd say was when we were shooting outside in Belgium we you know there's people and there's noise outside and there, so we'd have to hold shooting and can't the camera and sound and we'd have to like stop a lot because people would be there they'd be taking pictures or trying to get an autograph or or whatever and um and that and that was pretty challenging but uh let's see I'm trying to think probably though for me specifically and Zane because he had just about as many lines as I did uh the memorization because we we only shot in 13 days I had to memorize like you know, like 14 pages a day. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a yeah. lot, a lot of memorizing, but it was really, really great to exercise my brain that way and to kind of keep it sharp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. And the, what message do you hope viewers take away from uh, the movie and after watching it? Um, I hope that what people take away from the movie is um a lot of uh hope for themselves to kind of go for what they want in life and uh and that they if nothing else like let's say you're someone that has already accomplished all their dreams this is just a feel good fun romantic christmas movie that i think comes with so much uplifting feelings and happy feelings that in today's world we can all use you know I think there's a lot of sad things out there this is some nice happy things and and, <laughs> and it's pretty much uplifting the whole time and and who doesn't like that yeah yeah of course <laughs> and what was your favorite scene to film in the movie and why hmm let's see I think my Let's see. That's a tough one. That's a tough question. Probably besides the, the chocolate class that we got to shoot, I think the very last scene um, that we shot of the whole movie, it's not the last scene in the movie, but it's the last okay. scene. We shot. Okay. And, and, and it was uh, it was a more serious scene between Zane and I where, and it was freezing And it was cold and it was it was like after this shot we were going to be wrapped and done right um okay. we had a lot of sound issues but we we the whole crew and everyone got like really serious and we pulled together and we made it happen and the shot was just it's beautiful um and zane and i just had this really wonderful kind of serious scene together and as an actor it was my favorite because there wasn't any you know, gimmicks or, or, or anything that was there, like chocolate to distract. It was just us talking and having a real connection. And so that was probably my favorite one to perform because it was like, I could really lose myself in the scene and, and kind of become someone else for a while. <laughs> so I, I can't really tell you the scene exactly because it gives it away a little bit, but it's a serious scene and it's at the end. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sounds uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. And uh, finally, what can viewers expect uh, from your character and the overall story of a Belgian chocolate Christmas? And why should they tune in to watch it? The first question, uh, what can people expect? Yeah, from uh, your character and the overall story. Oh, okay, gotcha. They can expect a lot of, laughs and feel good feelings um christmas joy family all of those wonderful things and the reason you should tune in is because there is enough sadness in the world that 
let's give ourselves a break and just tune into something fun for once, you know, and, 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 and it's a good time. And we had such a good time making it. And I think that will translate. Yeah. Great. And the last question and the change of uh, subject, what can you tease about your next projects? Well, actually, I don't even have to tease because it just came out like a couple of days ago. I, I created, I wrote and directed this podcast called The Bystanders, um, and it's a scripted podcast. So it's like an old time radio show where actors, you know, we have Kathleen Turner, Jane Lynch, Margaret Cho. We have a really, really wonderful actors in it. And uh, we all, you know, essentially this six episode arc of call of show and it's a dark comedy and you listen to it on headphones or in your car and um and it's it's super funny it's super it's a great great time um i highly recommend it it's called the bystanders and you can listen to it either at the bystanders podcast.com or at, on apple podcasts okay okay we will uh get a try <laughs> okay perfect thank you Jacqueline for joining thank us today you. absolutely my pleasure and thank sharing you so your experience with us of course of course it, it was wonderful to meet you remember that a Belgian chocolate Christmas will premiere Saturday July 8 on Green American channel and thank you for watching bye bye